Hello again. This is Amateur Ideas, Tackle on the Wasteland with my beloved wife. Hello, hello. We're ready to get started. All right, let's do this thing. Let's Operation Save Marriage. <laughs> I said I wanted to go to therapy. You said let's play video games. So I guess we'll see if your way works. It's certainly the cheaper option. Is it though? That's a good point. That's a funny looking gun. Is that a flamethrower? Oh, <laughs> that's funny. That's a that's actually a hammer. <laughs> uh oh, that's weird. It's hammer time. Okay, we're right back where we left off, just in the beginning. You know what? This is gonna bother me the whole game if I don't position this just right. There you go. My God. The Only condition. you took that much care when organizing our home. Hurtful. But true, I needed to hear that. <laughs> All right. I can turn on my little flashlight. Boom. Oh, fancy. Okay. Let's... Uh, th there's still a lot more work needing to be done here, but in the interest of not boring you to death, I'm going to head out. We'll see a couple of things, kill a couple of things. What fell off that picnic table there? Oh, good question. That's cram. Is that in-world version of spam? Yes, it is. Yes. I'm not sure if you can cook cram. I know that it comes with a bunch of radiation uh, attached to it. Oh. Um, Generally a bad thing. Yeah. So we're gonna we're gonna try and stick with uh, things that we kill, uh, but we're gonna eat. There's also a couple of really unique bonuses to some of the food that you create. So, like for instance, if you if you uh, uh, you cook up, I think it's like ragstag, which is like a two-headed deer. Uh huh. You will gain uh, twenty-five to your carrying capacity. Oh, nice. So, depending on what you cook, it comes with little bonuses. I mentioned that, that 25 preparing, carrying capacity because it's probably the most valuable, the one that I have seen and that I, I like to use. Okay. Fragmentation grenades. Grenades are good. I mean, just in general, that's a good motto for life. Find a grenade, maybe don't pick it up. But, uh, always carry one. Raider, pipe pistol. Ew. On grill meat. Gross. And a tire iron. What's that glowing thing? Short pipe rifle. Glowing thing? Yeah, behind that tree over to your left. It's a little to the right. To the right, behind that tree. Oh. That. That's our destination. That. Is it glowing because it's our destination, or is it our destination because it's glowing? Oh, that's a good question. So, that is the Red Rocket. It's a gas station in this area. That's just lit up. Oh, okay. Oh, oh it's a dog. Hey, boy. hey boy, what are you doing out here all by yourself? You want to come with me, pal? Oh, you get to make a friend. Okay, then. Let's stick together. All right, we're about to get ambushed. How many times have you played this game? A lot. <laughs> what did you find, boy? Ooh. Jet and Psycho are one of those drugs we were talking about. A drug, you said? Yep. Uh huh.
I wonder what triggers it. Because it's normally we should be getting attacked right now. Oh. Oh, so your dog can do damage for you. Yes. That's nice. Does he have health and stuff that you have to watch out for? Yes, you do. Yes, he does. All right. Look at these bad boys. Ooh, look at those teeth, man. Them was good eating, too. Can you make stuff out of the hides? Well, you can use it to repair leather armor. Okay. Which is an early addition in the game. All right. So for some of our people who may not have played before, how do you decide what to take and what not to take? Is it just trial and error um, to see what's useful or not? Because, I mean, at this point, you know what's useful to take with you. So I do, because I've played this game so many times. When If you're, if you're starting off with the game, you know, take everything. As much as you can carry. You never know. You never know what's going to be useful. You're never going to know what, what, what you're going to need and what you're going to not need. I like the dramatic um, action shots when you're filming these things. Oh yeah. It's like it's an 80s action movie. You know, I remember like Van Damme movies, Jean-Claude Van Damme movies in particular. Uh huh. They would do like the, not only like the slow motion, but like the double playback. Yeah. Like a roundhouse kick that he would do. Yeah. That looks radioactive. It is. Squirrel bits? Is that like pieces of actual squirrel or is that a tool? You know what? You know, I don't care um, what other people say. Like my parents, you are smart. Rude. You saw the squirrel bits and you immediately were like, I bet you that has something to do with squirrels and bits of them. You're all over it, honey. You're sassy. <laughs> and I don't like it. You're patient and understanding <laughs> and... To uh, very tolerant. Ooh, that one's rabid. Be careful. Ooh, don't shoot your dog. No, no. He, he, he got in the way. He Did you damage your dog? I believe so. There no. are some perks and some things that you can do um, to eliminate that. PETA's gonna come after us for this. Oh, man. I wonder what, if, what what kind of form PETA would be in during the apocalypse. <laughs> Why didn't you unlock the safe? I'm going to. Okay, going good. To. You're better. Now, you are familiar with Skyrim. Yeah, it does look like a very... Is it a similar action? Like, you have to position it in the right place? Yep. Position it in the Because it's the same... The right um, it's the same company, right? Who does them? Same developer, same yeah. company. Hey, you know what worked on our dragon game? Lock picking. Why don't we just give that to our uh, post-apocalyptic world? Yeah, that works. 
What's that? People... Well, say, you know what? Instead of making it gold fancy locks, let's make it, like, dingy silver locks. That'll that'll make it the difference. Yes. You know, say what you want about our physics and the amount of bugs. <laughs> our locking mechanics are on point. Yes. I will tell you, though, after I played Skyrim for the first time, I really did want to learn how to lockpick in real life. That is... I think it would be a useful skill. Yes, you're right. I might still, like, buy a kit. We'll see. I feel like this is taking our relationship in a direction I had not originally intended. <laughs> um, something I'm going to point out to you is... I want you to notice something over here. See, like, the waviness? Uh-huh. Does All that right. mean it's radiation? Not radiation, but some kind of gas. Oh, okay. In fact, this place is probably a huge death trap. Probably. All right, let's see. Let me take my dog in it. Yeah. Forget what brain fungus is used for, but... Might as well take it. I'm sure it makes you smarter. <laughs> yes, that's how fungus usually works. Yep, it opens your eyes and ears to new possibilities. <laughs> I just wanted to show you... I'm going to try and get away from the blast radius. All right. All right oh, that? from the gas? Yeah. Well, that might be convenient in future combat situations. If you see gas and can lure the bad guy into it. It is a two-way street. Sometimes you'll just be, you'll see an enemy <laughs> pop up and you weren't paying attention to the gas. And, and then and they blow you up. And you go boom. But it does typically, you know, appear when appropriate. Like, right now, we're underground. To some degree, it makes sense that there might be, like, a gas buildup. Sure. It's just not, like, in the middle of a field for no reason. Yeah. It's good. Get some toothpaste. Might as well. Dental hygiene is important. Even in the wasteland. It's true. How are you going to eat mole rat if you don't have any teeth? It's probably how these mole rats have such uh, long teeth. They've been taking care of them. Yeah. They've evolved. They got the toothpaste. All right. Come on, boy. Oh, no, wait a second. There's something down here that I usually like to pick up. You hear? There we go. Black rim glasses. What do they do? Just make you look cool, or do they have some sort of feature? Well, by making me look cool, they increase some stats, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken. So right now I got eyeglasses, oh, which okay. I haven't put on. Those increase my perception. By okay. One. So actually, let's, let's uh, if we're in our stat page, oh, wow, I got some injuries. Um, if we look at our special, these are our stats. So I will put on my eyeglasses, and if we look back at our stats, oh. perception plus two. Um, what I like is the black rim glasses because they add to my charisma. Okay. Um, charisma. Because you look cool. Because I look cool. Um, charisma is an interesting stat. Um, oh no. It went dark. You know, in fact, let's... Uh, you know what, let's collect this. And this. And I think this is this stuff, too, as well. Come on, boy. All right, so what I was saying before, which is actually... Yeah, we could, we could bring this up. You know what? Dogmint, you found something? What did you find, boy? Oh. That was dumb. Way to go, boy. What did he find? He found a helmet. It was like in his mouth. It's nice. Right. Now you're now you're just leading me on a goose chase. Something I did want to bring up. So this is for, for you and for like beginners out there, but so your stats we picked during the beginning of the game. Um I lightly went into it, but I kinda wanted to just like put this into 
these into tiers, no matter what your character type, intelligence is always going to be useful. In fact, I'm going to go to my perk menu. Intelligence helps you level up faster. So it doesn't matter what type of character you have, that's always a bonus. No matter what type of weapons you have, you're going to be able to use gun nut and science to make them better. Uh-huh. So no matter what character type, I always have a high intelligence. Now, everything else afterwards is really based on your uh, on your character type. You could have someone who's a big tank. And so endurance is always going to be useful. This stuff is going to help you live longer. Um, you could have agility. And so instead of being a tank, you're, you're able to be really sneaky and people don't mess with you. Instead of having a lot of health to take a lot of damage, you don't take any damage because you're so crafty and so sneaky. Okay. You could have strength is is increases your carrying capacity. So in that way, it's useful for every character build. But in particular, if you're going to be a melee character, it becomes essential. It increases your damage output for melee characters. Uh, perception is really good if you want to be a sniper. And charisma, to some degree, is good for every type of character. Now, everything has a purpose, and in the survival difficulty, even more so. Before, there were some perks that just weren't very useful or necessary. But in survival, almost everything is necessary. We have a point to spend right now, and I actually am, am, am conflicted as to what I want to do, where I want to put it. Um, I'm leaning towards the charisma because there's going to be some dialogue options that I would like to get some XP out of. Uh huh. I want to get it up to level six too because I am a big. I love the uh, the mechanics of the the settlement system, and you need level six to actually really utilize it. So, but but charisma doesn't help you at all if you're just trying to survive. So, I think I'm going to do Charisma. I can afford to not, you know, survive. I don't necessarily need the perks that help me survive this low in the game. So, we're going to go to Survival. Alright, so we're level 4. Dog meat is freaking out about something. Is that his name? Yes, his name is Dogmate. He is a staple of Fallout. If I'm not mistaken, he's been in every Fallout game. There's always some dog that can become a companion. Does he always look the same, or is he different types? Um, He's usually, what is that, a German Shepherd? Yeah, it looks like it. He's usually a German Shepherd, and he usually has... Oh. He naked. He is. And that was too heavy. So something just came up. I have one strength. I can barely carry myself. Um, <laughs> the limit of my carrying capacity is 85 pounds, which is really pathetic. So we're heading, we're, we're heading back to town, I'm gonna drop off some stuff. And this is unfortunately kind of how we're going to be playing for a little bit until I increase my strength. Staying kind of close to home so you can drop stuff off. Um, uh, well, no, not exactly. Um, we're not going to be staying close to home. We have to, like, to progress in the game, you got to go farther and farther away. But hopefully, that will be when I have the, uh, I'm able to carry my, my, my carrying capacity. When you're playing in the normal difficulty, it's actually not that big of a deal because you're able to fast travel to locations that you've discovered on the map uh -huh. instantaneously. But in survival, they took away that mechanic. Ah. Oh. So during the early game, there's a lot of back and forth. There's a lot of backtracking. 
Yeah, there's also um, during the early game because of well, how did I lost my train of thought there? That's all right. We'll forgive you. Thank you so much. You're so welcome. So I'm gonna cook some stuff. Mole rat shots. Delicious. All right, looking cool. Those are pretty cool shades. I know, right? I'm looking super fine. Let's go make some drugs. So I picked up. You can make fireworks? Yes. Oh, Psychojet is my favorite drug. So if you look at it, you can slow down time, do more damage, and be more damage resistant, and have more uh, action points. <laughs> Usually, that's like the only drug I carry. Like, let's look at some other stuff. So yeah, you can make fireworks. You can make grenades, you can make some healing stuff, mines. There's a, a weapon called the syringe device that basically shoots out, you know, poisonous stuff. Okay, so it's like a poison dart gun, but more intense. Yes. And you can make cutting fluid at, at the drug station. That's just like uh, to build and craft things. Oh, okay. Um, you can also craft at the cooking station. You can craft uh, vegetable starch, which is can be made into an adhesive. Oh, you just nice. need the right plants to do it. Okay. We did just pick up some weapons. Let's take a look at them. We got a bayoneted heavy pipe sniper rifle. Which is weird. Why would you need a bayonet on a sniper rifle? <laughs> exactly. You wouldn't. So this bayoneted heavy pipe sniper rifle does 15 damage. If you look to the left hand on the screen, uh -huh. that'll give you like the stats for the weapons. We've got so a basic pipe pistol, 14. This does one more extra point. It's also got a really, it's got a scope on there, a short pipe rifle, and a tire iron. That's... We're going to go for you. We're going to put on this little bit of armor. Those are just things you don't need. Well, these are things that I picked up. It's like, for instance, this hot plate has circuitry, copper, and screws. Oh, so you bring it home to turn it into scrap. Yep. Because you can't turn it into scrap components side of your home area. So supposedly, you can put this in your workbench. Uh-huh. And when you put it in your workbench, you're supposed to be able to just use the parts that make up the item in your crafting. I I don't know and I've never tested it. I've always feared that if you do that, you don't you get the, the most out of the materials. And if that's true, I don't like doing that. So I I just break it down. For for me, breaking it down definitely means that I have utilized that material as best I can. Gotcha. All right. So like I was saying before, too, this thing can attack enemies, and it's harder for the enemies to attack it. Right. It looks like I'm thirsty. I'm no longer thirsty.
takes just a sweet little time, huh? Yes, it does. It's a lot of water, my friend. Well, no, so I actually cured my thirstiness, but now I'm just regaining some lost health. Ah. All right, there's another area that we can take a look at. You know what? Let me get rid of some junk. Let's... I can get rid of some of these. Do enemies ever come into your um, like home area? Yes, there's a whole other mechanic to this whole other system in this game where your settlements can be under attack. You basically, um, if I'm not mistaken, and I probably am, once you start getting a population in uh -huh. your settlement and you set up a beacon, uh -huh. your settlements can be attacked. If you create enough defenses, um, it'll defend itself. But if it doesn't, you'll actually get a warning message that, oh, Sanctuary is under attack. You need to try and go back there and defend it. Uh -huh. If you get there in time, we want to here. You know what? We're going to put... Grenades. And there, and then yeah. Oh, you know what? Grenades in there. You know, grenades and ammo. We're gonna put them here. Ammo fusion cores. All right. Gotta have a system. You know what too? Let's let's give this a try. Another thing to mention, because of my high endurance, I can run for a lot longer. If you notice my action points go down when I run. Uh-huh. Those are also the action points are used to determine the uh, the mechanic of of uh, oh what was it called? Where I freeze time. The shooting one. Yeah, the shooting one. The VATS, Vault Assisted Targeting System. Yeah, yeah. That is the the amount of points that I have to use on VATS is also determined by my action points. Got a dog. Ooh, it's a powerful dog. That's what we're gonna do. Thank you. Where did that dog go? <laughs> There we go. I don't think he likes getting shot in the butt. Couple dogs. So they ran. There we go. Ugh, he's gross looking. I hate the bloat flies. Oh, 
Whatever shall you do? Oh. There we go. Good boy. Good boy. Who's a good boy? Why did that blowfly have a pocket watch? That's what I want to know. He was running late. It's a fancy gentleman. Let me check the time. Ooh, I have to go, Buzz. What's that over there, that house? Oh, so we're not going to go there just yet. Okay, fine. Since you like those globe flies so much, we're gonna no! check out an area. Oh, pretty flowers. Oh, hello. Oh, we're dying. Oh, run away. Oh. There's some bolt flies. Now why is it getting blurry? Is it because your health is low? Yeah. Woo! That was an adventure. <laughs> you are peckish from lack of food. Was oh, that dog meat? Yeah, that's your doggy. Yeah. Good boy. Yes. Alright, yeah, let's cook this meat. We killed some things, we nearly died. That's an adventure. <laughs> <laughs> Just another Tuesday over here. That's right. Yeah, so like on lower difficulties, you kind of like breeze by this first area. But on, on this difficulty, everything is a potential death sentence. So my dude's hungry. Not properly fed. All right. So if you notice, before, there was... You, so if you're hungry, you don't get the bonus effects from things that you eat. But if you're full, you can gain the bonuses. So this grilled rab roach, this will heal me 30 hit points. I was wondering why it said zero a minute ago. Yeah. So you have to be full in order to get that extra health point. That is true. Bonus. Interesting. It's another cheap way, it's a little time consuming, super exciting to watch, is you just drink. Okay. <laughs> Drink some water. Well, with the water pump, you might as well, because you kind of have unlimited supply there. Yes. As opposed to the food where you have to go kill something and eat it. Just like in real life. Well, not everybody has unlimited access to free water. That is true. <laughs> and also... Water is not necessarily going to sustain your life if you have no food. That is true. You have a different combination of things that you got to work with. So what this adventure has taught me is we need to level up more. This is <laughs> it's a death trap out there. So there's a couple <laughs> more things we're going to build that should. We, we did gain some XP okay. from our little adventure. 
let's uh let's keep working at it so one thing in particular early on is i need to create a living area for some early settlers that we're gonna get okay and i like to do that right here I'm just breaking down this wood material. Sure. All right. It's like half outside. That's obnoxious. Yep. So this is a kind of a natural barrier for the town. Uh huh. So when I build, if I do it right, I will close this natural barrier. So the enemies cannot come into the the area. Gotcha. The so, I like to close this off. Start right here. Now this is Fallout 4. Yes. There are other ones after this too, right? Um so there have been four Fallouts that are like the main title numbers. Uh-huh. There have been some spin-offs. Like Vegas, New Vegas. Yeah, New Vegas is one of them. Okay, so yeah. See, I know things. There. Yes, you do. Apparently you don't know how to keep it down. Whoa. <laughs> there we go. That's as far as we want to take that. And they all have to do with post nuclear society <laughs> in some way or another? Yes. Was that an idiot's song? Yes, it <laughs> was. <laughs> Oh, no, are you kidding me? Womp womp. Is Fallout 4 your favorite? So I have played, I have not played the first two Fallouts in their entirety. Um, I tried to. They are really old and it was, oh man, I couldn't do it. I tried. <laughs> They are supposedly like legendary, like in the gaming space. Like you, 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 they they started so many things that are now commonplace, and and they they still did things that are better than some modern games have done. But they're old, and their mechanics, not all of them translate well to like a modern audience, unfortunately. Mm. At least for me, there's, the, I mean, they're probably still big fans of it who are able to play it because they have, you know, the nostalgia of it all. Um, but I don't. And honestly, there might be some people who are able to pick it up even without nostalgia, still appreciate it. But yeah, this is, this is the most modern version of the game. Oh, well, that's not true at this point. Fallout 76. It's not a, a, a major title. It's a multiplayer game in the Fallout universe. But it is, in my opinion, a broken mess. Um, it might be a little bit better than when it first came out, but I was super upset that the they would have even attempted to release a game in the condition that they did. Um, there were some people like myself who were just by principle, I'm not going to support this game if they, if they're going to try and pull stuff like this. So it actually might be in a, in a much better playable state, but they, they released a broken game and they knew what they did. 
That's frustrating. It is, because they have a lot of, like, really goodwill from the gaming community. Uh Uh-huh. There's a lot of people who have who have loved them for a very long time. And they felt betrayed. Me being one of them. Yeah. And I'm not going to support them. Unfortunately, you get what you pay for. If you go in there and you pay for the games that were broken and the state that they were in, we'll do it again. Right. They got away with it. It's okay. Yeah. Unfortunately, this is an example of the of, of, of the game studio that I really like going too far. <laughs> so is there a specific thing you have to do to attract settlers? Yes. There is a couple of missions that give you settlers as a reward. Sounds a little human trafficky to me, but okay. <laughs> yeah. Well, more like they join you because you've rescued them. Gotcha. Where an early mission is actually not too far from, from us, where like five, no, maybe four people will join the settlement. Nice. And a part of, then a couple of missions come up that have you you're creating like a living space for them. Part of that living space though is contingent on the amount of beds, like they need a certain amount of beds, they need a certain amount of food. And if you do that before, and you'll still get the same amount of experience, okay. except it'll increase our level before we actually have to rescue them. And so we're just- Give you a little extra. Yeah. Mm -hmm. For sure. And if anything, those, those Frickin' dogs just <laughs> demonstrated that I need to level up a lot more. Right. What I'm noticing is, so I do have a decent amount of X uh, of HP hit points, uh -huh. but I have no armor right now. Right. So I need to also find and get a hold of some armor. Yeah, you should work on it. I should. Good thing you're here to help me. <laughs> You're welcome. Alright, so we just leveled up. Uh -huh. I did boost my charisma, but clearly I need some other things. I could get Life Giver, which, I, you know, which would definitely just help, but I also... Some of these areas are just so much easier if I can sneak. And so I think I need to raise my agility. I need to get some sneaking under my belt. Okay. So we got some beds, but we're going to need some roofs over those beds. These settlers get super picky about them wanting roofs over their heads. Walls and roofs and... Yeah, they're a little spoiled. Yeah, jakes. They got some weird roofs. I don't know why there's like a corner cut out of this one. <laughs> <laughs> Just for aesthetics, it's going to give you a moon roof. All right, so yeah, this one looks like this would be good. Yeah. Put that there. There. Not a full roof, just right over the beds. That'll be good. <laughs> Technically, I think it would. <laughs> that would cover the minimum requirements necessary. Technically, if I were to have the beds down here, okay. that would be covered. But I actually like making like a little social area because this is going to be like the barracks. And so uh -huh. you come in, I'm going to eventually at some point have like some couches and some tables. 
Looking good. All right, so then, yeah, technically that will suffice. I have the, the amount of defense I think I'm going to need to get that mission accomplished. Okay. I have enough beds. What is that? Those are some plants. Plants to eat or plants to make drugs? Both. <laughs> But another thing that they're going to want is like a, a, a good food supply. Uh-huh. So. Those picky, picky settlers. Yep. Feed us. Give us shelter. Where? So irritating. I know. So I did. Uh, the food grows back over time. I did pick out some of the fruit. Uh-huh. I'm going to need more. Why do you have a pencil in your mailbox? I'm sending it to somebody. A pencil. A pencil. Do you know that you can mail potatoes? Shut your mouth. You can mail flip-flops and coconuts and all sorts of things. You have a firm grasp of the United States Postal Service. I do, thank you. What else have you been hiding from me? You'll never know. What else do you know? Clearly I'm good at hiding things, so... I'm not mistaken, there's like a lock. Oh, hello. Where's the bug? He's dead. Oh, here comes another one. Oh, man. I think I was just complaining about a bayonet on this sniper rifle. <laughs> well, I guess now we know why we have it. Yep. A little bit more XP. One of these houses is like a computer and like a safe. Nice. Here we go. All right. So notice there's a safe. Uh -huh. And here's a bomb attached to that safe. Oh my goodness. Yeah, so you always got to be careful. All right, so what we're going to do here is we can do this computer mini game, and we can also unlock that safe. OK. Oh, give us some XP. All right, let's do it. I love a mini game. All right, so we have four tries to guess the word. That is the password. Okay. Um, I'm going to pick a word. If you notice, well, we will just get started on doing the mechanics. We're gonna go with dogs. All right. <laughs> so entry <laughs> denied. Likeliness zero. So that means that all of these letters are wrong. It's like Wordle. I don't know what that is. I'll take your word for it. So ages. Well, ages isn't going to work. A ages isn't going to work. Fork, Fork no. isn't going to work. How about sunk? S-U-N-K. Ooh, that could work. P-U-S-H. That could work. That could work. Plus no. Ode, maybe. That would work. Plus no. not work. So right now I think we're at three Gru potentials. Grew would work. And grew would work. So let's let's go with grew, I guess. Doesn't hurt. This is also zero. Well, that's what we get. I said we should try sun. S U N K. There we go. Nice. I know things. So this was like, I think, a drug dealer oh. or like a gossiper. He had like a little bit of dirt on everybody. Still trying Hi. to get her some buff out. So this guy was like the local drug dealer. That's got hilarious. notes on everybody. He also got notes on Concord. This was before the bombs. This was, this was like our neighbors before everything went to, to uh -huh. Ooh, Just on that too. Nice. Let's do this. Too far, too far. Sweetie. Ooh, a fork. Who keeps a fork? Oh, 
fork in their sink. Their best one. And a pint glass in their file cabinet. These people were not very organized. Man, these people died during a nuclear holocaust, and you're being awfully judgy. I like that rug, though. Toy car, silver fork. Ooh, MedX. That's a drug. I got that. Anything else you want to pick on these people about? You know, the ones that died during a nuclear holocaust? <laughs> Feel like they should have tidied up more before they were eviscerated? Well, it's hard to tell how much is them versus, you know, the 200 plus years since we were last year. Who, like the gun in the shower? That probably wasn't them, right? I don't know. What a sexy time to have a gun. <laughs> when you're naked? Pretty sure that goes against, like, gun safety. Spoken like a liberal. <laughs> this seems like a really weird attachment. That's a makeup mirror. But like on a swing arm like that? They have good hotels and stuff. Oh. And I guess rich people's houses. We don't have one. <laughs> but they're nice. It's usually magnified and lighted. So you can like bring it in to do your makeup or like flick your eyebrows. And then you move it back out of the way. You know what? I should do more research into this. <laughs> this is what you want to make you happy, isn't it? <laughs> you want a swing arm in. The this will save our marriage. Thank you, Bethesda and Fallout. Woohoo! Like how you're just carrying that couch. Yep, just by myself, even though I have a strength of one. You can carry only 85 pounds, but this couch one-handed, no problem. When these settlers finally get here, they're going to be living it up. Yeah, living it large. With this nasty old drug dealer couch. I wonder how many people OD on that couch. Uh, that gives the couch flavor. Ew. So I'm not going to lie. It really kind of bothers me that your four panels go in different directions. <laughs> uh... I'm not gonna lie, this is you in real life. This is <laughs> Who would like their floors to look like that? Oh my goodness. This is what's bothering me. Is that it doesn't fit there? Yeah, they're they're there are like some tricks that you can do, but they're really time consuming and if you're playing on PC you can just like force things to clip the way that you want them to, but See, if I move this any more to the right, then that side won't. Right. We'll just make it, it doesn't have to be a square house. You can have it go a, a doop -a doop -a doop Yeah, thank you. If, any, if, if there's anybody watching this or listening to this and you want to know what doop -a doop -a means. It's what you just did. You did the doop -a doop -a doop. Yeah, yeah. See, they after they saw me doing it, they would understand that. I don't think it was that complicated. You need to give your listeners more credit. I need to I need to block this area somehow. Where are the, the, the fences? Oh, there we go. The junk fences. Steel four, steel nine. Oh, wow. This is so much cheaper. Hey, can't I let you here? <laughs> Can't go 
go through here, but you can still go through here. So let me do. That's some riveting television right here. You know it. All right, so this isn't working. You made it worse. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to try something. I don't remember if I know how to do this right. All right. There's a little trick that you can do. I don't want to build it if there's one already lying around here somewhere. What is it? So, how does how to explain this? So, you basically take a... There's a way to grab objects in this game. Uh -huh. And if they're close enough to each other, you can grab multiple objects as if they're just one object. Okay. So basically here, the, take it, right. So I got this floor mat. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take this wall. I'm going to put this floor mat on it. Okay. Now I can pick up just the floor mat or just the wall, but if I hold down the hold button, I now have both of them. Okay. Now, what happens is, if I can lay down, I can, this is kind of like a little bit of a cheat, where if I if I lay down this structure in such a way, uh, where is it? All right, let's put that there. Oh, oh, <laughs> there you go. That's how that mechanic works. Oh, man. Mm -hmm. ah. womp, womp. Womp, womp. That there. The mat there. Sorry, so put the mat close enough to this. So it grabs both of the items. And then. Man, it's doing it again. Oh, that's going to drive me bonkers. All right. I can explain this maybe in an easier thing. All right. All right. So you see this right here? Uh -huh. If I try and take this object and put it like where it naturally would look like it should go uh -huh. to block it. It doesn't go. It doesn't go. Sure. So what I'm going to do here, right there. Oh wow, man, did they fix this bug? Where you would basically just put the doormat as long as the doormat fits, whatever's attached to it would go there too. Yes, but oh man, it looks like they fixed that. <laughs> that's a bummer. That is a bummer. That was the only way. Oh man, that's awful. Oh my god. I'm so upset. All right. So we're going to put that right there. That'll block an entrance that no one ever uses. So the other Fallout games, they are all post-nuclear war in some way. Do they have similar stories to this one, or are they all very different? Yeah, the, the I'd say that there's a handful of things that are all very similar, but then they have their own little twist and flavor to them. Are you usually frozen and wake up after the apocalypse? No. This was a unique... 
This is a unique uh, story element, just for this fallout, this number fallout. The uh, the other ones, so you, you don't always some some of them you start in a vault, some of them you do not. I think most of them you start in a vault. Oh my god! Already, I do not care for this. All right, I'm done messing around with that. Ooh, and I'm hungry. I'm thirsty. I was probably going to die of starvation. Trying to fix that. I'm trying to fix that. Sounds about right. Can you see how much... That's a, a single-minded approach of a gamer. Yep. Really fed. How close are we to leveling up? Ooh, a little far away. <laughs> Not very. Let's get a little action in here. All right. Ended on a high note today. Let's go kill some things. Yeah. Ooh, what is that? Bug. Yep. Holy cow. It's like a giant mosquito. Yeah, pretty much. That's exactly what it was. Ugh. Well, it's like a whole nice little town. Apparently, this slight distance from your home to this town was just enough that it didn't get everything all blown to crap in the explosion. Yes, this is the town of Concord. It's adorable. A little slice of Americana. Oh, people. How do you know if they're good people or bad people? Look at him. Oh yeah, he's a ginger. Shoot him. Poor guy. Nice. Nice. Alright, so if you notice, bottom right hand corner, I now have seven against ballistics and uh -huh. three against energy. If you notice, so it went from five and eight. Five and eight. Well, without the, so you can. Yeah, five, eight, and ten against radiation. I'm not going to be up against radiated areas, so I think we're going to go with the leathers. So that does seven. Okay. Ooh, 
You notice they aren't noticing you? Yeah. Oh, they are now. <laughs> well, one of them is. Isn't it a choice of damage when you're sneaking? Yeah. Sneak attacks, you usually get bonuses. <laughs> Hello. Oh my goodness, what was that? Hey, up here, on the balcony. I've got a group of settlers inside. The raiders are almost through the door. Grab that laser musket and help us, please! Oh, calm yourself, Preston. Such a drama queen. I want a laser musket. You can have one when you've earned one. <laughs> All right. So this is what we're gonna do here. First, let's go see if we can get some more ammo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh man, we're crazy low on ammo. Oop, on the right leg. There's a third guy around here, I thought. Am I wrong? So there's this guy. I think there's just a two. Why do some have like an asterisk next to them? The description of the item. Oh, I think that indicates, so like you're looking at this. All right, it's so it's a sack hood. It has a little plus sign. Yeah. I think that means that there is, that has more resistance than what, that's better than what I currently have. Gotcha. Blue batting helmet, Minuteman outfit, laser musket. You cannot run. Get back here. Get back here, you little shit. Hey, be nice. He's the goodest boy. Hey. Thank you. Alright, right, let's... You're holding all that stuff. Oh, that's nice. Damage is agility and perception. Uh, I don't care about anything on this. Oh, dog care. Oh, man. Dog meat, you are just awful. All right. So that's going to start a level. That's going to start like a mission. Uh huh. That's like arguably your first dungeon. Okay. Um, I don't think we have enough time. So we also need to have a lot of uh, space in our inventory. Mm. So we're going to head back. Maybe grab a couple more things. Go expert lock. That's yeah, not going to do it. What are the fusion cells for? The laser musket that we just picked up. Ah. In fact, we can check a look, take a look at that right now. more carrying capacity do we have? 85 out of 85. There we go. Perfect time to go back. <laughs> <laughs> we can still run, but just barely. So not only, like, does it, like, so when you reach your carrying capacity, you now start, yeah, you start walking. But in survival mode, you actually start taking damage, and you can, like, break your legs. Oh, jeez. You slip a disc. Yeah. A little crazy. But also... I don't know. A little realistic. Yeah. Hey. Does dog meat have a carrying capacity? Yes, he does. 
So this like so this weight is three. Let's see if he can carry some junk. Brahmin hide. All right, he's able to carry two. There we go. Thanks. Can't be able to pick oh, this. Can't do that either. Yeah. Womp womp. Mentals. Antibacterial. Ooh. Oh man. Bobby pins. Precious, precious bobby pins. All right, we got to drop something. Let's drop. Oh, let's wait a five. My goodness. Pint glass. There we go. All right. I'm a little disappointed at some of the, like the gear that we have. Uh -huh. But we're going to be able to, yeah. as the game progresses, we're going to get better ones. We, we could have been a little bit luckier. With the, oh, my. Let's drop something else. Stupid fork. Wait three? Yeah, I'm carrying around just some stupid things. <laughs> okay, there we go. Oh yeah, this is awesome. You're gonna get to see this. See what? Is yeah, it you can't hear this, but there's like lightning and thunder music happening. Oh. Notice the, the tinge. Uh-huh. spooky yes it is spooky is there gonna be a hurricane all right we leveled up got a perk to spend nice Ooh. i remember when this first happened when i played this for the first time years ago i was like what is going on i thought like my game broke but this is a radiation storm ah See how I'm taking rads? Yeah. That's crazy. Want these empty bottles. Resistance. Nope, it looks dumb. You know, we'll <laughs> put that on. We'll keep that. We'll keep that. That. We'll get rid of one of these. And there we go. We do not, we cannot carry a whole lot of stuff. Nope. Short pipe bolt action rifle. Oh, that's 40 damage? Is that right? Can't be right. That's what it says. Oh, but it's, it's, it's a bolt action. Oh, man, that's... Oh, okay, it's got a different round. That's See how that's .38 and we have 104 rounds? Uh -huh. This is .308 rounds. We only have eight of these. Um, but just 40 damage. I, I'm not sure if I want to get rid of that just yet. But I do need to get rid of... This is where we're going to put drugs. This is where our ammo is going to go. 
Okay. Shotgun shells weigh way too much uh, for my taste. So we'll keep these rounds. We're going to fill these bottles up with water. Cool. All right, we're done with the junk, we're done with the mods. You know what? There's also some stuff that we need to just drop off into the Rain fungus, dirty water, glowing fungus. I approach meat. We might be able to cook some of that. Sounds like a plan. Now the radiation storm will bother you whether you are inside or outside. Well, once I go into a building, it should stop. But while I'm outside of the building, it's just going to keep doing radiation to me. And if you notice, the radiation actually chips away at my health bar. Yeah. So that is bad. I think... So this is going to be where we put... That's going to be special weapons. That's going to be legendary weapons. We're going to put that there. Drugs there. Ammo there. Here we're gonna put unwanted gear. No, we're not carrying that. Let's see if I think I can craft some more food. Yep. Craft something. Oh, look at me now. So fancy. Yeah. That wasn't hot before. I sure as hell am now. <laughs> you know what? Let's take a look here. 10 millimeter. Nope. Nuclear material. My goodness. Right. I think we're just going to level up and then rest up and then head back out. Let's, yeah, we got a level point that we can put up. So, what is going to be the most helpful? One more and we can start putting in to sneak. Level 11, we can do more into Idiot Savant. We are going to need to also make a choice between Rifleman and Gunslinger soon. Mm. So, Rifleman gives you plus damage. It gives you a damage bonus to rifles. The other one to pistols? Yeah. Now, if we're going to be playing this game like I think I am, I'm actually going to try and just, like, max out this character at some point. And if I want to do that, if I want every level to count, early game... Gunslinger is great. The weapons way less. Um, they have more action points. Um, but during the medium and long game, you kind of just stop using them all together because rifles just become overwhelmingly more powerful. Yeah. So I'm not I'm not exactly sure what I want to do with that just yet. Um, so what we're gonna do, I think, for now, oh, a charisma bonus. I need. I think I'm going to do the Charisma bonus. I still need to reach six. Do it. Agility will also be good. You know what? 
Life Giver would also be good. 20 to maximum health. That could be handy. Yeah. I think I'm going to have to do the Life Giver. Yeah. I think I think that's a good plan. All right, wife. Wife says Life Giver. Because right now, the next, like, the next couple of missions we got... Sneaking isn't really an option. And this will just make sure, this will just help us not die. Yeah. You know what? Let's put power there. Like a Nuka Cola. And there. All right. 57 out of 85, that's not too terrible. Now, you know what? I'm also not gonna use this bolt action rifle right this second. That's just more weight. There we go. Super. All right. Now what we can do in anticipation, I think I'm going to just rest because in anticipation that the next mission is going to take a while and, and we don't have to sleep yet, but if I rest for four hours, I think it'll help avoid us losing, being tired during the next mission. Cool. All right. Ooh, we're ill and we have parasites. Oh no. You're apart from lack of water. So we'll tackle that. The next time we play. All right. All right. Hope you guys had fun. Not uh, if I do say so myself. Not too bad for an amateur. Wife, we'll yes. say goodbye to the people. Goodbye, everyone. We will see you next time. All right. Good night and good luck. <laughs>